Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps to Beauty, and you are here for Smash Up Sunday. And I always chimed in a little bit early, say hello. So if you're over on YouTube watching, I stream every Sunday and Wednesday night, 7.30 Eastern. And tonight, I try to keep Sundays like, so I could learn mixed media and stuff like that. And then on Wednesdays, I try to keep um, scrapbooking, mostly scrapbooking. So Wednesdays, we're working on a dinosaur um, little book. And hi, Patty. Um, and so today, we're going to do steampunk um, pages. But first, um, I saw this book at Dee Dee's. And Dee Dee's uh, Inkwell here on Ustream as well as YouTube. And um, I think hers wasn't, wasn't as long as this book. This is like 14 inches long. And it's I love it because, first of all, it's steampunk. And it has an octopus. Oh, my gosh. And, of course, I ordered this one is coloring with your octopus. And then there's traveling with your octopus and walking with your octopus. So, of course, I ordered both of those. <laughs> uh, sure, you got the flag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, so I think I'll do the same thing. Dee Dee, I think, colored her whole background first. So I might try to do that. Although I really don't like wrinkly pages. So I don't know if I'm going to, like, copy these and then maybe do, like, a, a steampunk journal. So I don't know. We'll see. That was my first one. I just don't remember Dee Dee's being this long. So I'll have to ask her. Um, and then over the weekend, I went to my art store. Hi, Barry. Barry? After we did oh yeah, for Michaels. Yep. <laughs> um, so um, the free class this uh, week was um, you see this Escoda 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 um, paintbrushes, and they're a company from um, Spain, and they're family owned, and they all hand make their um, paintbrushes. Oh my gosh, it was so interesting. Of course, yeah, I did buy some of their brushes, and they have um, sable. Um, he was showing us how to do the sable brush, and he did the. Um, they have a squirrel, and it's not like a regular squirrel. It's called a blue squirrel, and then they have the Oxford. They said over in Spain, a lot of people use mostly Oxford um, brushes. So, <laughs> um. So I did get um, some of their water brushes. And so the cool thing about them is um, these handles are made in Italy. And that's, again, it's Escoda. Escoda. And this line, I think, is called the Prada. Yeah, this, so they have, like, different lines. So I asked for, like, the beginner. And um, what he did was he um, took the ferrule, and they have, like, the little... Um, the little hair like that and he showed how to I wonder if I have a picture I think I took a picture so I could show you what I mean I mean I don't know a lot about brushes but um, it was it was cool the way he hand did them right then for you oh, hold on let me see if I have this oh yeah here it is so here you could see so that is the oops that's the um, the part of the paintbrush you know with the hair and then they put them in these little tubes depending on what it is. So if it's a round brush or a flat brush or it was really very, very interesting to see him actually do one. And so he actually did all three. He did the, he did this one first. And so they come, you know, you see how it is a point, right? But he actually like twirls it to actually get it to a point. It was very, very interesting. And then he actually did a flat one. And then he like feathered out and then he did an ankle one. It was cool. So they said that um, most paintbrushes, uh, like their handles come all from Italy. And they said that if you notice that each paintbrush has their own, um, like their own thickness. He says a lot of the companies, whether it's like a zero, two, three, four, like they'll use the say, let's just say this is the number two. So they'll use the same barrel here for number zero two three and so their brushes are made to be balanced um, in your hand so um, it's, it was very interesting and then you see this let me see if I have another paintbrush here I can show you so this is um, this one is Windsor Newton so you see how this is only two it's only like um, 
you know, fastened by two, and theirs are always three. So they always have three, I know it's hard to see, three um, rivets like in here to hold the, um, the brush. And then, um, what else did he say? He said too that when you um, go to clean your brushes, and most of us I know don't really have good brushes, but you know, I just thought I would like to you know how do you how to uh, clean the good brushes. So they have this um, their own soap, and this one is, and luckily everything was fifty off of there, so that was really nice. But this is um, artist uh, brush and hand soap, so it also is good for your hands. You know some of the um, other stuff to clean your brushes are like really, you know, harsh on your hands. So this one has, it's with 100% extra virgin olive oil from Spain. And it has some coconut oil. And he said something else. I can't remember. But it's um, virgin oil and coconut oil. And so you wash your brushes with the soap. And then it's, you know, good for your hands too. So it's just like a regular bar of soap. So it goes like this. So you see, it's just a regular bar of soap and it smells, it doesn't really smell like olive oil. Um, but yeah, so, and you can wash, they, this is good for your acrylics, um, anything you want to wash your, um, you know, brushes with. And then they, he said that what you should do is when you, um, olive oil and coconut, <laughs> you probably could cook with it. <laughs> Maybe. Um, he says when you, um, Put that in your hand and you brush you know to go to clean it he says that you should always clean i always thought that when you do your brushes that you should like hang them upside you know like hang them upside down so that the water runs this way and they said no that all brushes should be laid flat like this with a paper towel under it and so that way the water seeps into the paper towel and that's how you should clean you know keep your brushes clean so it was interesting i thought of um you know they had it was he was there a good hour I'd say making brushes and answering questions and stuff like that so that was fun but if you do have good watercolor brushes it's it was good to know yeah it was just interesting I thought um I thought it would be you know fun to see what it was all right so this is um from my silhouette I actually um, don't faint. I actually use my silhouette probably the first time in a year. <laughs> but so I did this um, mostly because when I teach the classes, like, um, and I'm sure, you know, they don't mean to, but, you know, when they're scrubbing the um, stencils, you know, they bend them, whatever. So um, I'm, I made these for that class. It was interesting, Bunny. And so let's see. So I did die cut all of these. These are all my um, things that I'm going to try to use. And if you guys are interested in um, any of these dyes that I'm using tonight, Blitzy has them on sale, I think, until tomorrow night. They have a lot of the, um, the dyes, the uh, gears. So I just, I just die cut a whole bunch. Like they have this one with the butterfly on clearance there. Um, I think they have these with the hearts. Not on clearance, but, you know, on sale. So, so I just went ahead and just die cut a whole bunch of gears. Because we're going to do um, steampunk. Because the girls um, that I teach um, once a month, they wanted a steampunk dress. <laughs> it's like, I love the one they say, can you just do this? And it's like, but yeah, but how? Well, like, what do you, it really should be done, I think, on a canvas. But they want a journal page. So, <laughs> that's what we're going to try to attempt to do tonight. I think they even had this one. This one I think is a uh, Cherry Lynn one. See that one? You love the gears? Yeah, well, Blitzy has them on sale um, until tomorrow, I believe. So I thought we would stamp this girl on one page and then try to do the dress on the other page. So let's see. So I am going to use my Big Dilutions journal. So now what I do is I... Um, I tear my pages out. I know a lot of people, what they do is they, um, oh, I've got my sewing pattern for the dress part. They even have this one too, I believe, in Blitzy. Um, so what I do is I tear, I tear the pages out. 
So I went ahead and tore all these pages out, so you can see. Uh oh, I forgot the links. Hold on, Jennifer. Hold on. There you go. Post it again. <laughs> there are links. I put the links on now. You should be able to do it. I think she's putting the Blitzy on there for you guys. There you go. Thank you, Jennifer. Yep, Blitzy.com. Yep, so, um, yep, the dies, I'm pretty sure, until Monday. So you can see I tore quite a bit of pages out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this in half, and then I'll make actually two more books. So I just think this paper is just so nice that a lot of people say you should glue two pieces together, but I don't. I take it apart. All right, so I went ahead and I just, so, so here was the other page that I did. I just don't have enough room. That we did um, a while back, I want to say, I don't know, maybe October, somewhere like that. I should have dated it, which I didn't date it. So um, I think instead of doing the yellow and orange background, I think I'm going to try with like a gold and copper and some black. So I'm going to leave actually this page because I'm thinking about putting maybe some brads in here. So I'm going to poke a hole. So then I will glue these two pages together. <laughs> and then when I was trying to rip these pages apart, I forgot that this other page was connected. So have you ever heard of this? This is like, oh my gosh, I love this. This is called transparent mending tissue. And you can see it's very, um, it's very thin. Can you see it's very thin it's like um really like it, it you can't even tell like i have it on the center of my um book here and you can't even tell that it's on there so um and i like it for like books you know that you want to journal like in the ones that i um i did the fairy page and i have a little like nick out of it so i'll put this on there and um you can't even tell that the nick is there so some you can barely no, you can't even see. I have the tissue tape right along the bottom there. But um, I got it at Amazon through Paula's um, A store. Yep, Amazon. Yep, it's called transparent mending tissue. So anytime that you have a rip or something you want to put on and you don't want it to show, I, I love that a lot. All right, so I just have my page already. So this is what they want me to do. <laughs> Are you welcome? She, she hands me this and she goes, I want you to do this next month. And I'm like, it really should be, it's like a chipboard piece and it really should be like on a canvas or like on a chipboard. So I'm going to try to do the dress on this side and put the girl on that side. So I do have my artist seller stencils too. You're welcome. Um, so last time we used, I want to use a different one. Last time we used this one with the big gear. So I'm going to use a different one. So I don't know if I should like put like a light background with all the gears. I don't know what I want to do. Let's see. I think. What do I want to do? Let's see if this one looks like. Need to flip the page for the better brads. I did. I have, um, oh, you're right. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Eileen. <laughs> um, yeah. So the holes will go in here and then I can glue these two pages together. <laughs> that would have been bad news. All right. So I'll move this out of the way there. So there. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. So I'm thinking if we did this, because I don't want a lot of the gears to show. So let's see. If we did that and then maybe flip this over. Maybe flip this one over. Phew! <laughs> yeah, phew is right. So oh, let me see. If I do, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to get this other side to match up. I wish that, like, they would match up, like, when you flip them over, they would match up. All right, so let's decide what color. What color shall we do? I was thinking maybe, like, 
a kind of like a gold, like a muddy gold, and maybe come over the top of that with some copper. So I have, I'm going to try this. I have this one I took Seth's class. Um, so I have, this one is toffee. Oh, my gloves. Yes, thank you. I will put my gloves on. Thing. This one's called pumpkin soup. And this one is caramel. So I think we're going to use those three and then come over with like a copper, I think. So thank you very much. Yes, so I always put on my gloves in a bottle, which is just like a shielding lotion. It just makes the uh, paint come out off your hands easier, quicker. So patina colors. I think, uh, I don't know. Because I want something that the dress is going to, I don't want something too bright that the dress will show up. So. I was going to do something like this, but this kind of reminds me of like Halloween-ish. <laughs> so. I think I'm going to try this and then maybe go over the top with copper, I think. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I got to get sponges. Sponge. Like I thought I would have had everything out already, wouldn't it? Where are my sponge? Ugh. Hold on, I can't get my sponge out. Hold on. I can't read the chat. Oh, funny. Oh, there they are. I got some. Nope, that's not it. in here so I don't mess up my other page. Hi Gillian! Hi Kia! I don't really reach but it'll be close enough. Well that one does. This one's short. Close enough. Oh I need a sponge. You know what? I'll just use a dabber. I just cannot find it. I'll just use one of these. I like to use liver. Liver. Liver on sulfur to patina metals. Ah, never heard of that. Liver. Liver of sulfur. That's a new one on me. So I think I'm going to go with a little bit of this, the caramel, and the pumpkin soup. And I think I'll put it on, maybe first I'll put it on with a white. I use it in oh, mixed media pieces. I never heard of that. Is it like a paint? All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of this and a little bit of this. Oops. They're pretty similar.
Is it smelly? I don't know. Mod Podge, she says M O D G E P O D E R I E dot com. Liver of sulfate. There we are. We have that. Mike used to carry it, but then got oh, in the art stores. All right. I think maybe I should put a little bit. I don't know. Do you think of this brown? Well, I want to keep the background like subtle. So let's try it and see what happens. So I'm thinking if we do this. So I'm thinking of the girls going on this side. I really uh, would probably like this bigger circle on her. All right, let's try that. When it is, it's, oh, it smells awful, she says. That's like Paula when she was complaining last night about those neon paints. Yeah, they do stink. Ugh. The neon paints do. All right, so I am going to go with some copper. So I brought out a little palette thing. Where is it? It works really good. It just makes it look like rust. All right, so. so I'm just going to pounce this on. Let's take a peek what that looks like. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Hi, Kalina. Salt and vinegar potato. <laughs> really? Are you for real? <laughs> she says you can use salt and vinegar potato chips to rust on mail on metal. <laughs> you can really? Wow! I never heard of that. Suzanne, I went to mail your package and they said that your address doesn't exist. <laughs> so I hope you get the package. You got to let me know when it, when you get it. It's like it, she wrote it herself. It has to be the right address. <laughs> so 
we're just doing a subtle background so that I can put my dress on here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my gosh, you'll have to tweet that to me. <laughs> You should get it. Okay, good. Because they were like, there's no such ad person at that address. There's no address. I'm like, what? <laughs> potato chip rusting. <laughs> Let's just put the link up there for potato chip rusting. <laughs> So I'm going to see if we can like flip this over. So there, see? Doesn't that look cool? Now I probably wish I would have done the background just a little bit darker. Maybe. So let me see how we can... How can we... This matches at all? Nope. I'm just going to stick it down like that. Well, it will. It will make it when. Okay. I mailed it on either it was Thursday or Friday. So I think they said you're supposed to get it Monday or Tuesday. we are so then our, I'm gonna put the dress here anyway so hopefully that will um stick that in there um let me just get my paint off of my stencil stick this here Oh, thanks, Eileen. Thanks. Liquitech Basics. The um, the copper color, yeah, it was Liquitech Basics. I just want to get most of the the paint off. Gonna order copper. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take the paint off this side. Oh, I gotta get baby wipes. Oh, I didn't get it off soon enough on this side, darn it. Oops. 
Deal with the copper. That was why I got most of it off. And that's Artist Seller Stencil. Those are the ones that I won that I was lucky enough to win when I was in Maryland. I got the news that I had won those. So that was that was fun. Oh, you just ordered it? Cool. All right. So now what to do, what to do. I want to put her here. So let me move my book up so you can see. And then I'm going to put the dress, the dress here. So she's kind of like staring at her dress, kind of, I'm thinking. <laughs> so I really think maybe I should darken the background a little bit more. What do you think? I wonder if, what should I put in the back? Maybe some more of this chocolate? Let me let me dry this first before I do anything else. All right, heat gun, Paula. Oops. <laughs> Grunge it up. Yeah, it needs to be grunged up. Oh, like the yellow. I should have went a little bit darker with the background. Alright. So we'll try this one. This is a toffee and it's kind of translucent a little bit. See it? get a paper towel. So I'm just going to take this off of here. Let's see, maybe I'll do the sides first and then see what to do. Oh no, <laughs> I put my pattern right on that. Darn it. I'm just going to do the edges for right this second. I just want to see how dark this is. Hi, Deb. Was fun, but oh, okay. Bye, bye, you see. <laughs> Be safe. All right, so, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put the girl here, so I really don't need too much. Let's see, too much. And can, now because of the glare, you can't see, but see there, it's a little darker. Looks a little better. I like that better.
So there we go. So there's that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to <coughs> I'm going to have her there. I'm going to have, let's stamp this one. You know, I don't have a big enough um, stamp pad. Just in the other room. <laughs> Happy birthday, Deb! That's right, it's her birthday. So maybe I can stamp it with. Maybe I'll just keep it on that and then stamp it with that. And then I got some gray. Because I don't want black. So I'm trying to see what the gray looks like. Hopefully this will. I'm just going to stamp it off on some tissue paper first just to see what, if I have all the image. Still celebrating? <laughs> Her birthday's today. Yep, Deb's birthday is today. Oh, that looks good. So see? All right, so good. So we'll go ahead and stamp that. Ah, now what happened there? How did they get that on there? Oh, well, just adds, you can't see it, but they, actually there's some texture came through there. There's a tissue paper. That's weird. I mean, it bled right through. Huh. They surprised you and just left. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it's your birthday. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to. It's right. I'm actually going to have her look me up. So good, so then we can block that out. I'll get another. Oh, that is a nice surprise. Might actually use this saying so we'll see I was trying to come up with a quote for it but I couldn't come up with anything <laughs> I'll let that dry. They, they live two hours away so I spent four hours driving in the rain Aww. all right so I have that down I'm going to put this so I'm thinking I have all these die cuts too. I was wondering if I should go ahead and, whoops. Oh. I was thinking if I should put these down, which I think, can you see? Oh, hold on. I'm thinking about putting these down. So I have that. I was thinking about just like framing, maybe framing this one P, like framing that dress part out. So, if I did that, I don't think I'd be able to put this one down because I'll cover her up. So, let's see. If I did, if I go like that, I could do that. Oh, there goes my chat. What happened? Are you guys there? I lost my chat. Are you there? That happened on um, Wednesday night, too. All of a sudden, you guys just leave. <laughs> Are you there? Let me see. Okay, you're there. Okay, I don't know. Well, I don't know what that's about. But so, see, I think I'm going to put these, um, those down. 
I also have this one. I love this one. I'm thinking about maybe doing something like this for her skirt. Like that. Yeah, they look good there, right? So we'll put some gel medium on there. And then I have... Let's see what else I have here. I'm thinking I'm just going to stick with all the gold, all the gold ones that I um, cut, die-cutted. So and then I could add a couple up at the top. See what else I have here. I'm just gonna pull this out for a second. This one, this one's a Prima one. I love that. So let's pull them all out. So I don't think I'll use the black ones. They're kind of harsh. Oh, thanks, Kia. <laughs> and I love these with the hearts. I'll have to stick them somewhere. And I have this one with the butterfly. I know it has been. Oh, it has been, Galena? Yeah, I don't know why that just like flickers on and off. All right, so let's just pull these gold ones out. All right, so I'm going to put these down with the matte medium. So, read this. I need a brush. Mm, go with this one. So I'm going to just lay these down first. Yeah, this one is a memory box. And it's very similar to Tim's coming out with like a corner one like that. It hasn't come out yet, though, or I haven't seen it. Oh, thanks, Josie. So I'm going to just stick these down. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Oh, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, I love steampunk. I have um, quite a few die cuts now. And I love this color. I had this. I get, um, I usually give, um, start throwing out stuff for um, a friend of mine who, who uh, teaches art. So I had this color paper in, in the throw up bag and it was like, well, let me just see what that looks like. So I have like 10 pieces and of course I've used them all now. <laughs> it's like every time I put something in um, like that to give away, I wind up going back in there and going back and getting something out of it. Uh. No, this is just, um, it's a basil color paper. It's like a mustard color. It's just basil. I have to do my whole page now with the gel medium. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I forget it. And then I pulled like, I was like, oh, you know, I need this. I need like a, just a little piece of whatever it was. I don't know. Of course, I went in that bag and there it was. It was like, oh my gosh, why do I throw out stuff that I need? <laughs> oh, I didn't dry that. So see now it's... um. It's moving. I'm going to have to fix that. <laughs> I 
Why have the heat set that? Now, it should, that should move. It's archival ink, right? I guess it's not dried. progress though today in my room I have to say <laughs> I mean anybody else who walked in here wouldn't see it but I know it I know I did it <laughs> right there so let me heat dry this so it doesn't move All right heat done Paula So now this should move, right? Yeah, good. <laughs> I should have used a bigger brush. So I want to be able to color her and I want to be able to use my colored pencils, so. Which I didn't bring up here. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get to her. If we can get the dress done, I'll be happy. <laughs> I'm just going to map medium the whole page. Did you guys set your, were you uh, <laughs> missing that one hour today? We set our clocks uh, one hour ahead today. <laughs> it doesn't bother me because I don't sleep, so. <laughs> All right, so that's good. All right, so, so that's looking pretty good so far. I know you can't hardly see her, but I didn't want that to show too much because I want to, um, I'll probably go in there maybe with a, you like this time change? Me too, because I don't, uh, I don't really sleep. So for me, the extra hour doesn't, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just dry this so that I can put my dress on there. So, Hika. <sighs> She's a vampire now. She's a steampunk girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's nice to see it getting lighter outside, and you actually can see. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Now I'm going to set my dress. I think I'm going to put her on an angle here like this. 
I might even do like a, a metal hanger. So let's see. So what I want to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to use this. I'll have to trim this. So I'm thinking about putting this underneath her dress like that. Let's see if I have another one here. Where's my other one? Oh, I'm missing my other piece. I need to cut this one. So there's. I thought I had another piece here. I'm going to cut this one. So we'll have to trim these. This one. This. So I'm going to scrunch this one up, stick that there, I'm going to stick this here like that. So we need a big piece because I want to put like, um, like a petticoat underneath. Hi, Kathy. So we need a piece of paper. What should I use? I'm trying to see what I have around me. I have this beige. So let's see if we um, pencil. And my pencil. Watching your jelly plate and paint roller video the other day. I know with the fish, wasn't that great? All right, so we're going to I want to make a big skirt, big like that. To go on the other page. I'm going to have to make, let's see how this works. I'm going to stick that there. Now that looks good, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to just shorten this one just a little bit, I think. So we have that like that. So let's see, I have to make a pattern so that I will have it for the girls. You had to work today, but the comfy, oh, you're, you're all comfy now with the pups. <laughs> all right, so let me see if I wanna go this way. Nope, I want that way. All right, so. So I think I'm going to put it just like that. All right, so let's glue this. Let me glue. Are you still using the die cut piece on the skirt? 
the die cut piece. I'm going to um, put some like gears and stuff on there and I'm going to um, use the sewing pattern still, yes. Yes, I'm recording. Yep, recording. Yep. The chat got lost, but my recording didn't, so it was strange. Right, so what I want to do is I want to be able to open this up like this. So underneath, I can't decide if I want to put like real metal gears or if we should stamp gears on here. So this is what I mean. This is I'll show you what I mean. Oh, I shouldn't have glued that down. All right, hold on, I gotta open this up just a little. What I want to do is make the ruffle like this, right? So we have ruffling like that, but then in here, so then I have one on each side like that, but in here, should we put um, real gears or should I um, stamp it? Metal ones, okay, okay, I mean, <laughs> so. So my opening I'm planning on is going to be something like this. Real. They all say real. <laughs> Just checking. Thank you, Ella, for checking. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these in half. So I want to do is just add these on here in the skirt part. Make sure I bend that back down. So we have that. I've got these tiny little ones like this. I think I want to put a ruffle on the bottom of the skirt too. So let's see, I have these, I think I'm going to let's see what else I have, I've got this one, so let's cut this one, where did I find them, they are at, um, Joanne's in the jewelry section. Uh, let me see right at the top. So, hold on. So, where is it? Of course, I can't reach it. I can't get the other one. But they're like this. They're in the beading section. So, these are bead landing. And you can see that these are the hands. So you get this whole, this whole, all these gears. I think they were three ninety nine, and I used a coupon. So for two dollars, you get all these gears. So there's a lot. See, you get all of those for two bucks. So that was a good deal. So let's keep going here. Maybe I'll. I'm going to fill the whole inside. I think with gears. Yep, they're in the bead in the bead section. Let's do that one there. They're on sale. Oh, they're on sale too. Even better yet. Yep. I have some other ones too. I think I have some gypsy ones. Not sure. What's nice about these is they're nice and thin. Do you see how thin they are? They're like thinner than paper, like paper. This one's just a little bit thicker. This is seven gypsies. But it's nice because in your journal they won't take up a lot of um, space, you know. So like I have that one. So 
something else I have. Everything is on sale at Mike's? Good. That's good to know. So I need one of those. I think I'm going to go back with this. So I'm just going to fill the whole skirt, I think, with gears. Oh, I can't forget my mind what I want. I like to put these little ones on top of here. Yeah, they would make great, great earrings, yep. Uh, one, two, three. I wish you would have like one other, or like two the same. I need like three. Let's stick this one here, I think a gold one. So I think that that looks pretty good. Might have to stick it. Well, we'll stick these down first and then see if we need to do. Uh, much better, I have to say. Um, they wanted me to do um, the medicine like twice a day. And it wasn't helping the very first day. And I was like, if it's not, I mean, it wasn't helping in the morning. So I don't understand why I should take it at night. So, of course, I stopped taking it because I don't listen. <laughs> um, but I went to the health food store and got um, some probiotics and that seems to work a lot better than the medicine they were giving me so so um, next not next month not next Monday not next Tuesday a week from Tuesday I have to go for a colonoscopy I'm not happy about that but <laughs> take a picture oh yeah true so we'll see. A little bit better. Oh, there's Andrew. Hey, Andrew. How are you? <laughs> We're doing steampunk tonight. Wow. Twice in a row. That's nice. So say hi to Andrew. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, Sunday night's usually my mixed media kind of night. And then um, I want to do a page with the new Graphic 45, the Seahorse collection with gears on it. Oh my gosh, I want to do a page like that. So maybe I'll do that next week because I do have the paper. All right, so let, let me get a picture of this first. Where's my phone? I'm taking a picture. I am. I am. I got to look for my phone. The garden horse? The garden hose? No. <laughs> Two times running. Yes. Um, the seahorse one, what's that one called? The, um, the graphic 45, the, um, is it under the sea? What is it? <laughs> I love the seahorse in that. And so I want to do a seahorse page with gears and stuff. Voyage beneath the sea. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah. Voyage beneath the sea. Okay. Got my picture. So let's glue these down. Now, what do you think's the best way to glue these down? Oh, uh, I think I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. So let me see if I can find my Fabri-Tac. Oops. <laughs> Voyage Beneath the Sea. All right, so I'm going to... I'm going to hope that this will stay. I don't have any metal glue, so. Very carefully. Yeah, that's probably my favorite collection of Graphic 45s in a while. 
um, I can't wait um, to do Jim's little submarine um, little book. Or I think it's a book. It has a tiny book to it, I think. With that paper. Glossy accents would work. I just don't feel like it, it ever dries quick enough. I have it, but I just, I don't know. I just, I really don't like it. <laughs> I just would rather use my Fabri-Tac. I guess I don't like it because I don't like the shininess of it. But I guess I should get the matte one. They do have a matte glossy accent. What are you working on, Andrew? Anything? You guys know that Andrew has his Facebook page for Graphic 45. And they have all, uh, all great things there. You don't like it either. Yeah, I know. I never use it. It's just like, I really don't like it. Yeah, that's what, what she should use. Did I ask what I should use? I don't think so. like this one's not sticking at all you love glossy accents Ella not me I'm going to put a little bit more glue on this one No, I don't like glossy accents. Craft 40 frown round one design team. Oh, submission. You just made the words. The World's Fair mini album. Oh, that's good. I'll have to check it out. Is that over on Facebook? I've tried for the Graphic 45 design um, team, but I don't know. Just My stuff is just not shabby chic enough. <laughs> I, I always want to at least get the top 30, and I never do. <laughs> so I stop trying. I don't know. Is, is Andrew, are you on YouTube? Do you put your stuff on YouTube? They're asking in the chat if he's on YouTube. Oh, you've not posted it yet. Hasn't posted it. But are you on YouTube? Do you have a YouTube uh, channel? So that's looking pretty good. You have a YouTube, but your account is not working. Oh, no. Oh, so he uses uh, Vimeo? You use glossy accents a lot? Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, Ella. Oh, I just... Yes, he says, yes. It's very frustrating. Yeah, I bet. I don't like it when it doesn't work. Yeah, I'll have to post when I do my seahorse one. I'll have to post it. I haven't posted anything on that um, graphic 45 yet. 
because I haven't really done anything yet. What's Vimeo? Vimeo is like um, like you record it on your phone or your camera, and then you kind of upload it so that you could see. It. Isn't that right? But you will link the tutorial on your blog. Oh, so and what's um, Andrew? I forget the name of your blog. You could post it if you want. Um, I have links open if you'd like to um, put it up there. Andrew's blog is, is it down under, down something? I think I need one or two more little ones there. There it is, down under, there it is. Andrew is downundercrafter.blogspot.com. AU because he's from Australia. Thank you. Yep. So check Andrew out. Yeah, he has some cool stuff. All right. So there we go. So I think that I might need one little one there. You know what I'm going to put? I love to use um, snaps. So I hope I have one here. Let me see. Um, there we go. If you're new, um, yep, check Andrew out. We do have some new people, I think. So I love to put the snaps on there. Let's see if I have another one. And I love just putting like these, just the rings. So I'll stick that on here as well. Whoops. All right, so now we're ready for our skirt. Oh, where is it? So I'm going to scrunch this one up. And I think, oh wait, I think I want to put some lace underneath here. So did I glue this one down already? I don't know if I did. No, I didn't. All right, so let's, let's glue this down. I'm going to put a little glue here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. There you go. Thank you, Eileen. Yep, there it is. You just click on that and it'll take you right to Andrew's um, blog. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lace. Um, I went to the flea market and I got whole bunch of lace so let me see what do I have that I want to use anybody else applying for graphic 45 I didn't um, I didn't this year anybody so I think I'm gonna just ruffle this up in here like this so let's cut a big chunk of this off. Not you, Pam. No time. Pam says no time. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put some glue right underneath here. And I'll just do a little at a time. Gwen was here. We should ask Gwen because Gwen loves Graphic 45. I need this. So I'm just going to ruffle this around underneath and get it all fluffy.
<laughs> he's, Andrew says he's a graphic 45 addict. That's how our Gwen is, too. Gwen is a graphic 45 addict. So now, are you going to try out? You can go again, right? I think you can go another year. Yeah, I, I did buy hardly any paper last year from them, but I did buy the C one this year. I love the C one. I wanted to ask Gwen if she should try out for Graphic 45 because she loves Graphic 45. Alright, I just need a little bit longer. Hi, Mildred. You're late again. 50 lashes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so we have that done. I'm just going to trim this off. Hi, Val. You bought the cityscapes? <clears throat> that's I think that's what we're using um, for Jim's class. Cityscapes, and we're using the um, Lady's Diary, and I can't remember what else. Jewelry. Maybe she knows. <clears throat> you want to get the C collection? That was the very first thing I got. Oh my gosh, I love that collection. All right, so now we can put our put our just lift this up a little. It's kind of long, cute, isn't it? So this is just a sewing uh, pattern that I use. So I'm just going to pleat it um, right here. And then I'm just going to stick that underneath here. So like that. And then I'll trim the bottom of it. You love Graphic 45, but it's so new. You haven't bought any of it? So there's that. Oh, isn't that look pretty? Don't you wish you had a dress like that? Oh my gosh, love that. <laughs> All right, and then we need one more on this side. Whoops, oh, sorry, just the camera. Maybe use some of the charms on the Graphic 45. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to use the mermaid one that he gave me. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll fold this one. Pinching that underneath there and sticking that. Hi, Jane. <laughs> there, doesn't that look cute? Oh my gosh, I want to dress like that. <laughs> so I have to trim this a little. I wish I had some zigzag scissors. I would um, trim it with that. My gosh, nine o'clock already. We're not going to get to the girl today, I don't think. All right, so let me trim this. And then all my stuff. The one on the seahorse, you can, yeah, right. Yep. So 
just enough that I want her, yep, with the lace to show like that. Cool. And then we're going to trim this one. So I'm going to trim that just a little bit more. So there we go. <laughs> they cute. All right. Oh, I had to, had to decide if I wanted to put wings on her or not in the background. Let's see. So I'm going to glue this down just so that I have that won't lift up. I'm going to glue this here. Now I'll glue the side down. Put some glue here. Don't forget the hanger. Yes. I gotta see if I can find one. I, sh I have some of Timmy's hangers. I'll have to see if I um. I'll leave room because I could, uh, yeah, it's not glued here, so I could put the hanger up there. I wish I had some wood ones. The wood one would be nice. I might have to see if I could cut one out maybe on my silhouette. So I think I need to trim this just a little bit here. Cute. So I'm wondering, um, I think we should stamp some of this. We'll see. So, should I put wings? What did I do with my wings? Did you see it? Let's see. I have these. These are jewels, but then I have the chipboard, I mean the cardstock ones. What did I do with those? Do you see that anywhere? Where are my wings? Oh, thanks. Hi, Emma. Good morning. How are you? Oh, where did my wings go? All right, well, I can't use those wings. Oh, here they are. So do you think I should go, well, not with this color. I could put these wings. Should I go with those or should I go with these? One hour ahead, yep. <laughs> Do you like these wings better in the black? Kind of like those because then you're see through too. You like the wings. <laughs> Which ones? These, the jewels, or these, the paper ones? The paper ones or the Prima jewel ones? Oh, use the butterfly. Very good, Jennifer. <laughs> I'll have to color it though. Let's see. If I was to. We'll have to color these though. What color should we put? I have to do a black, I think. Let's see if I have some black ink. The paper ones, I lean like the paper ones. Let's see what this looks like because I don't have one cut out in black. Um, you haven't taken your clocks down yet. <laughs>
probably should use black paint, but just so we could see what it looks like. So should we use those? Oh, let me think I'm going to use that. Let's cut this one. I like those. Those are nice. I think I'm going to um, maybe paint them, though, with some black. I think black paint. Going to dinner. Okay, Deb, thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Happy birthday, Deb. All right, I need some black paint. <laughs> Eileen says she still likes the paper ones the best. <laughs> I'll let that dry. Huh. No. All right, let's let those dry. So I'm thinking I should do some stamping in the background, don't you think? So I have. <laughs> paper ones. <laughs> Use the paper ones. These are paper. These. This is what you mean? These? Or do you mean this? These. <laughs> you want these with the gears or these like regular wings? I'm waiting for the lag. <laughs> My leg is always like really long. The regular wings. No, the white ones. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> but then I have to put, I, I can't put these white. Don't you think I need to put them black? You want me to keep them white? You want the white wings? Regular. <laughs> Uh, the black one on top of the white ones, like that, no. The white ones on the other side look like ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but so should I paint these? Should I paint these or leave them white? You want me to leave them white? <clears throat> How about if I, yeah, color them, but what color? Should I color them in um, copper or gold? Change the color. Okay. <laughs> yes, they need to be black. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use the hanger. Well, maybe I won't use the hanger, though. <laughs> I like the wings. <laughs> Paint them gold. Okay. Well, that's what they're saying. Paint them gold. Paint them gold first and see what it looks like. Because I don't know if the gold will show up. We'll see. We could do gold and then if they don't show up, we could do black. Paintbrush. Black. <laughs> Well, let's see what the gold looks like first, and then if we don't like it gold, we'll paint them black. How's that? <laughs> They're all saying, not gold! <laughs> not gold! 
You sure about that? Black, black edges. Black. They all want black wings. <laughs> Black edges. All right, let's ink them in black, and then if they still don't look enough, then we'll um, we'll paint them black. <laughs> we'll paint them black. Maybe paint them gold, and I just, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing, Penny. We'll see how they, if you don't like them, then we'll, then we can put them black. We'll put them all black. <laughs> so there's that one. I think I like that. You like the gold? No, not gold. <laughs> but look, how about now with the black? How's that? <laughs> copper tipped feathers. Yeah, we could put copper on the tips of them. I kind of like that, the gold. All right, let's do the, um, let me get paper towel. I like it because it's shiny. Let's do um, a little copper on the on the tips. We'll do some copper on the tips. That looks better. Thanks, Eileen. Oh, you can't really see. Can you see that? There's the copper. Can you see that? And there it is plain. It's growing on you. <laughs> I kind of like. I kind of liked it just all gold. Really. I think I'm going to just do it all gold. Let me wipe this back. And then I could put stickles on it. I think stickles will bring it out. Now I have to put a little bit of gold on here, copper on here. So there. Not enough contrast? <laughs> yeah, not with the copper. Nope. <laughs> but I like the black. But I think if I put stickles on there, then I'll be fine. So, so I'm liking that. All right, so I think we need to do some stamping on here, though. So let me see, what do I have? And we stick, I think I'm gonna put some more gears, maybe some more gears at the top and bottom. So let's see that. Everything needs glitter. <laughs> So I could stamp it with some numbers. Oh, we didn't put any of this. Do you think I should have put this over the um, over this part? Hmm, I like kind of like that. Let's see. I'm gonna cut this off and see. So if I did that. On the edge. So I go to the edge here. Let's try that. So if we put this on there like that, just to give it a little flare. Where's my other one? I 
Hold on, I'm looking for the other one. Yeah, you like that? Me too. I like that too. I'm gonna look, look. I'm looking for the other one now. So I have two of those somewhere. Somewhere. Darn, I can't find the other one. Yeah, I like that too. Right, let's look for the other one now. There it is. Do that and then let's see. I want this dress, me too. I want this dress too. <laughs> All right, let's glue this one down. <laughs> that one might actually fit you. <laughs> I'm going to stick that right. Right under there. Actually, should have looked that a little bit more. Like that. Isn't that cute? I'll hold it up in a second. So now we can see this side. Fine. I'm going to cut it here, but I might use that other piece. You bought the mar micro beads? Oh, yeah, I love the micro beads. That, and we need one long, this one long one on the edge here, like that. I got, um, what did I get? I wonder if I have it up here. Oh, yeah. I'll have to ask Eileen if this was a good deal or not. And, I, of course, I don't know how to use them, so. <laughs> there. That does make the dress, doesn't it? It looks so cute now. I want this dress. I need to go to a steampunk thing. <laughs> Can you see it up close there? Look. Doesn't that look cute? <laughs> and now you can see the you can see the wings. I didn't glue those down yet though, so let's glue those down. Everything you buy is a good deal. I have to show you. Oh my gosh, I love that outfit. Thanks, thanks, Eileen. I got this the other day when I was at Michael's. Pearl X. Is that any good? Pop the wings, I will. They, they were regularly $29.99 on sale on clearance for $7.99. I could pop the wings still. I didn't glue them all the way down. Is that a good deal? I mean, are these good, Eileen? I don't even know. I was just like, oh my gosh. I thought, I can't remember if you said for me to get some Pearl X. You love the outfit, me too, Jane. <laughs> You love the Pearl X. All right, so this is good. So this was only $7.99 for all of these. So there's four, eight, twelve for $7.99. So I thought that was I thought that was good. All right, so let's pop these. Let me see if I have a pop dot somewhere. Yes, that's a good deal. Okay, good. 
Now you just have to tell me how to use them. <laughs> That's a good deal. Thanks, Kia. 